They are a public health hazard, discarded used syringes. But a KDK investigation has now found that for the past two years, the city failed to comply with the health department regulations on needle exchanges, letting needles just litter our trails and our green spaces. Lead investigator Andy Sheehan's obtained dozens of emails showing the city ran afoul of county health officials, putting the public at risk. It's called a needle exchange, but since implementing the program 18 months ago, KDK investigates has learned the city failed to develop a program to collect and safely dispose of the used needles and syringes. It's littered with needles. Just everywhere you walk, you, it's a hazard now. In nearly two dozen emails obtained through a right to know request, KDK investigates found that despite repeated pleas from the Allegheny County Health Department, the city failed to develop a policy or comply with regulations requiring the accounting and disposal of the needles, nor has it made available required sharps box containers like this one to ensure the public's health and safety. Without those safeguards, we've continually found needles strewn around trails and in open piles near encampments. You can see that the program went off without proper safeguards, right? Yeah, it probably didn't use best practices around the proper safeguards. In email after email obtained by KDK, the city fails to deliver when county health officials demand a needle disposal policy. Then Public Safety Director Lee Schmidt began overseeing the city's Office of Community Health and Safety, which administers the program, and saw it wasn't working. Basically, since this needle exchange has been run, there's been no exchange at all. I mean, basically, a lot of this, these needles have just been discarded. Is that correct? It's not my current assessment. Absent a developed plan, Schmidt says he eventually decided to pull the plug and stop distributing the needles until the city can ensure the public safety. There wasn't really accountability around how many needles were given out in return for how many sharps containers, that sort of thing. So that's when we paused the program, and I would rather we pause it, we slow roll it, whatever it takes to get it done the right way, rather than just roll it out for the sake of saying we're doing something. After suspending the distribution of needles for two months, Schmidt says the city has now begun a small pilot program with a limited number of homeless addicts, giving them needles only when they return the used ones and trying to get them into recovery programs. In the meantime, the city has finally developed this draft disposal policy to ramp the program back up again. It outlines the need for sharp box containers to be placed at encampment sites, though the city has still yet to purchase those containers. The city has done needle cleanups, but just this last week, we found discarded needles throughout this encampment on the north side and needles along this encampment around the Allegheny Riverfront downtown some even in the path of pedestrians. And there's still syringes down by the Allegheny Riverfront for runners and joggers to step on. There are, um, and I want to be clear, we're not the only ones doing programs like this, right? There's Prevention Point, there's other outreach agencies, there's also Good Samaritans that feel that's their uh, right to do that. After operating without the proper safeguards, Schmidt says the needle exchange will now take baby steps until they get it right and try to convince everyone else giving out needles to do the same. Reporting downtown, Andy Sheehan, KDKA-TV News.